We, we, we interrupt our program with a special bulletin. <clears throat> so I'm going to ask three simple questions. Okay. Very briefly, briefly discuss how government is immoral. Okay. And then ask what your thoughts and questions are. All right. All right. First question. In your day-to-day -day lives, do you use violence to solve your personal problems? No. No. No, right. And uh, so the second question would be, with the exception of self-defense, would you consider it wrong or immoral to initiate force? Yeah. I don't believe in morals. Um, or wrong or immoral. Would you consider it wrong to initiate force? Well, what is wrong? So like, uh, so let's define what is violence, right? Force? So violence would be defined yeah. as placing a person in an involuntary position uh, without their consent or choice, i.e. rape, murder, theft, or assault, all violation of self-ownership. Would you consider it wrong to violate someone's consent? Or yeah. moral? Yes. All right, well, there we go. So we're coming to agreements, right? So the second question would be, with the exception of self-defense, would you consider it wrong and immoral uh, to initiate violence then? Yes. Right? And then the last question would be, would you consider it then wrong or immoral to violently force your ideas onto other people? To violently. Right, because if, like, if you didn't like what I had to say, you can walk away, ignore me, ostracize me. But if I came after you and threatened you at gunpoint, you have to do what I say, right? Threatening you with violence with my ideas. Would you consider that to be wrong or moral? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, perfect then. <laughs> all right, so in our day to the, so you just told me your day to the lives, you have a plurality of non-violent solutions to apply and use to solve your problems, right? We have this moral integrity against that violence. And as a community of individual people here in Richmond, though, we're told that the only way we can affect any kind of change or make any difference, though, is through government, politics, voting, they say, right? So people vote with their yeah. ideas, opinions, and preferences, and how best to solve that community problem, and in effect, they elect a politician. Uh -huh. That politician, his early job is to legislate those ideas and opinions into law, and then those laws of opinions are then backed and enforced by the police at gunpoint. Right? You could take government opinion that cannabis is bad for everyone. If I were to smoke a plant, I'd be kidnapped, arrested, drunk to a cage, a prison. And with any point of refuse or resist or try to run away and escape, I'd be made more violence or sometimes shot, murdered. Right? Right. At the same time, governments even found into more violence because at no point can you say, I do want to help the poor, but I don't want to fund war. You have no freedom of economic choice. You still have to give government your money. You still have to give up your property. You still have to pay your taxes. Because if you did have a freedom of economic choice, what you do with your own money, how best you allocate your own resources, government wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage if you didn't pay your taxes. So this is how government is immoral then. This organization that calls itself the government then only knows how to solve problems the one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of non-violent solutions that us three here already so share. Anarchy is better. Yes. Is it more efficient? So what is anarchy? So anarchy means like am means without, archy means rulers, rulers, right? In this context, without political rulers, like monarchy. One political ruler, oligarchy, several political rulers. Uh -huh. So without political rulers. A political ruler is someone who violently forces their opinion onto uh -huh. people in a geographic region, right? Uh -huh. so, anar so then, since anarchy is against that uh, cohesive relationship, and the converse would be anarchy then is for consent. So the essence uh, of anarchy is consent. Wherever uh, there is consent within individuals, that's anarchy, right? So yeah, I would find it to have been most efficient in my life to interact with people consensually, right? Voluntarily, right? Yeah. Um, we, we all laugh, we can play, we can trade, and... and but you don't think I, is, this, is this uh, like a thought as a large-scale thing, like as a yeah. country, or just like a, a personal thing? Well, I guess you can't show me... A country can't show me government, your friends, without showing me individual people, right? Only individual people exist, right? So we have to kind of remove that kind of concept again, and, and, and that's what I said, right? Yeah, only individual people exist, right? But, um, so, but I, I don't know, like, so I don't. Yeah, yeah. Well, but do they like do? Does everyone exist? Individual people? Yeah. Yeah, individual people exist. Yeah. I mean, you can't show me again government without showing me individual people, right? Government is the abstract term. People are the concrete concept, right? Um, but I guess, and, and so what we're advocating for, uh, the group, well, if you guys have any more questions about that? Wait, you're saying it's more efficient to run or to live under anarchy than otherwise? Uh, have you found it efficient, I guess, in your interrelationship, with your relationships with other people uh, to interact with them consensually or violently? Oh. Sure. But like, it, doesn't the government have other uses besides like the yeah. All right, so let's look what is government. Government has a violent monopoly on the services you and I want. Because I want roads, I want law, I want security, I want first class mail. Uh, it's illegal. So you're saying it can be like all these other things, like laws, whatever, can be like run under a different organization. Can be provided in the market. 
that's Monopoly. consensual, right? Really? Okay. With contractual relationships with these services, right? Okay. You don't have that with government. But you don't exist. think, but I think like without someone to regulate. Uh, you're different. For a lot. I'm, I'm asking for uh, to list, live our lives and consistent with the values that we already uh -huh. have, right? I think it's wrong to initiate force, wrong to violate consent. Government necessarily has to violate your consent. Government necessarily first has to rob you of your property to taxes in order to say we're here to protect your property. Uh -huh. But right. people have a different view on what consent and what is violent or not violent. Right. So that's why so, we. Go ahead. So it it's not necessarily violating someone else's consent if like if it's not violating, if I perhaps didn't um, think it was wrong to uh, violate someone else's consent, then I, according to me, how would it be immoral for the well, that's um, fine, right, right. And then, um, and the only way to find out is to ask them, right? A lot of people haven't really had taken the time to examine what are their morals or ethics, what they consider uh -huh. to be well, wrong. I just don't moral. believe in morals. Right, right. And, and, and you, can, you can say that too. Um, but therefore, therefore, I would just ask you, would you consider it to be wrong to violate consent, right? And if you say that I think it's okay. I mean, it totally, like, that's a ve the br very broad well, thing. Well, it so, depends so, so on like, consent, what. Consent is uh, the freedom to withdraw or give permission at any time over uh, things you own, like my body. I can say no anytime. Or my property, hey, I need that back, right? That's, that's, that's consent, that's permission, right? Um, so are you saying that, otherwise, uh, if you don't think that people cannot have consent over that stuff, then you're now trying to take over their body and over their property, right? Uh, when you adv advocate against consent, right? Advocate against their permission. Um, so yeah, it's good to help define these sort of words. Like you guys were here, like, well, what is you know violence or what is? Uh -huh. so, yeah, that's the best way we can kind of get there together in a free society, right? To to have these kind of conversations, right? And you'll find by having these conversations with everyone, everyone would generally agree. So yeah, I think it's wrong. For I think I, no, I think I agree that the government is immoral. But I'm just like not sure about like whether or not it's like. I just Doodles I like I like to keep right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to have government not, so then I can just like not listen to it and do whatever I want anyways and everyone else has to listen to the government and do what they like the government says but because if the United States was in a total state of anarchy it wouldn't work out because people are flawed and there's just not everyone's good so people would take advantage of the fact that other people there wasn't something to regulate no he's saying like you can have like these regulations it's just not no but not be controlled right by right the right no no, no, no but i'm like, saying but i'm saying it would be like who would it be controlled by you the consumer market, the market yeah the market you this For, is, but, yeah but For people I mean, like, but this, people aren't corruption, but, but people aren't perfect the corruption the there's right. yeah exactly so um with you're saying with, you rather without, take the, you rather take this corruption in the form of the government, the government. And, and not conform to it is what and I'm not saying. To it. Okay. I'd well, rather live in personal. anarchy under a government than live in anarchy under anarchy. Well, all right. So the thing is, um, we can have rules, right? The rules the but government who, has. Who's to say like someone's gonna follow the rules? Well, that's, like, well, without... well, well, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. We can have rules. Rules that you give explicit consent to, and, and you don't have to follow them. Because the thing is, like Virginia is one monopolized community. The majority preference forced into the minority, right? When that is abolished, you have thousands and thousands of free societies based on consent, catering to your lifestyle preference. Now you can have an apartment twenty that's four twenty friendly, well, one if, across the street that's different. That's well, not. What if people have negative? Like what if you wouldn't be I, living in that community? You'd be living in the one that conforms with your what, values. But the problem is, what if that community affects you? Like if How? If, 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 if there's if, people that like, oh, I want this, and they're a community of great. like violence, okay. and they oh, okay, okay, so they're a community, so a community of violence. So you're saying that. Um, there are people who want to hurt other people who got together in this community. Now the thing is, before you even build a community, you have to trade with the market to kind of build that up for the houses. So it wouldn't be allowed. Right, no one would trade with you. You wouldn't even, you wouldn't even get started but, in building a community. But if you, you, that's exactly why like you could, um, if you, no one's gonna trade with you, if you just kill them, if you don't have any morals, and you just like, or take them out of the marketplace and like take their share of the thing, there's no, they're not in the marketplace. Because if you're going to threaten to hurt peaceful people, no one will trade with you. And but the, so you're not going to have guns. You're not going to have any of this stuff. You're going to be a crazy person in the woods saying, one day we'll get you, but nobody cares. But I'm saying there's going, but people already. Um, Are you looking for security? How do you prevent violent people? Yeah, how, how, do you okay, right, how do you prevent, like, sure, how, sure, what, right. what provides regulation? What provides, like, how. I could probably get a gun somehow, and it's not like not through yeah. regulated means. But like, like, who's and who's regulating whether I could get a gun or not? Well, the, have you ever been on eBay? 
Yeah. Right. And they have like a credit rating systems, right? Testimonials, uh, customer reviews. I've been in business for 20 years, never had anything bad. Um, I'm, I'm great at providing security, never had to shoot anyone, very good at detaining. Trust me, get the first three months off, right? You have thousands of people that are providing real security now for your life, liberty, property. Here in the government, many Supreme Court cases, Supreme Judges have ruled a decree like in Winnebago versus Duchesne County that there is no obligation under government to protect your life, liberty, property. So here today, you have no security. It doesn't exist. And if you're going to say that it's wrong to steal, you have to universalize that, right? You can't say it's wrong for you to steal, but we'll call it taxes. It's wrong for you to murder, but we'll call it organized war. Um, it's wrong for you to fly a drone, but I'm going to go use a drone overseas and, and bomb uh, families and wedding parties, right? Um, so the government exists constantly in violating ethics in its own moral stance, trying to tell you that's wrong. At least in a market, this is universal. At least in the market, you have contractual relationships with these services, right? Obligations for it to be provided for arbitration, for security, for anything. To build roads, businesses build roads to begin with. Government doesn't build it. Uh, so I just feel like it, it would create, because who's doing what? Under, under government, it's more, uh, together, I want to say, but like, because with, uh, under, um, there's, there's more, I guess, growth because if there's um, more people contributing to the same They're not contributing. Thing. What happens if you don't pay taxes? You get thrown into a case. That's not contribution. That's stealing, right? You're not a taxpayer. You're a tax victim. If it was uh, voluntary to be called charity, it would it be called taxes? So no one really contributes. It's robbed from them if they don't surrender their property, right? Wesley Slice went to a case for three years because he didn't pay taxes, right? So he didn't, it's not because he didn't self-contribute. It's because he tried to resist government from robbing his property. Now, when nearly half our income is no longer being stolen, you add up local, federal, city, state, sales tax, imports, tariffs, everything you bought has been taxed. That's nearly half your income returned back to you. No more really reason to say, well, there's not enough money when you work. Like, for example, in order to pay off taxes for everyone, you need to work like about 101 days out of the year just to pay taxes. So 101 days returned back into your life, right? So I just think the government, rather than anarchy, the government could just be run better and it would be more efficient. But, but it necessarily, though, has to violate your consent in order to run. Remember, it has to rob you. But it's always, like, anything's always going to violate someone's consent. No. Like, because people disagree. There's not, you're, there's not gonna, not every, everyone doesn't agree on everything. Right, Agreed? right. I mean, no, no, I mean, we, we can agree with uh, moral principles. Like, we agreed, right? We disagree. I've never met you guys, but we agree that it's wrong or immoral to uh, use violence to solve problems, right? Great. That's how we create this consensus. We respect for private property and self-ownership. I don't, I mean, I, don't, I get the, I get the against the violence thing, but I don't get a, against, like, everything else that goes on. Well, like as long how, as it's consensual, anything goes, right? You can have your community, uh, 420 society, you can have uh, your nudist colony, you can have your Amish community over there, and they all can interact in the marketplace and trade and uh, enjoy life. But the rules in those community do not transcend across the river into their community, no more than the rules you have in your own room don't transcend and you know, cross the river into my room. Right? I think he's saying that but, some of the government institutions that don't necessarily do harm to people, they're still going to exist. It's just not, they're not going to be, it's not going to be considered like government anymore. It'll, it'll be considered like some sort of Wait, business. so there is going yeah. to be a, a community or something? Yeah, there'll be regulations. There'll be yeah. laws. Oh, there'll be, okay. yeah, right, right, right. There, yeah, there'll be laws, right. Uh, but laws you get consent to, right? It's like, you know what, that is fair. I, I like this but contract. The, but then what if other people are like, hey, I don't think that the 420 <laughs> thing should be a community. Well, that, yeah, yeah, and then um, you'll be living in a community that doesn't like 420. Yeah. And the rules there in that community then, will say we're against it. But then some people are going to be like the 420 community and be like, well, I don't I don't support the drinking community. And That's then fine. Yeah, is it going to split into that? There'll it's, be yeah. thousands and thousands of communities, right? Not See, just one monopoly The, the problem community. I have with that is because there's so many different communities. It's yeah. just on such a like... Diversity is awesome, isn't it? You're, just, you're saying it's going to be disorganized. You're saying yeah. it's going to be... I mean, diversity I, is awesome, isn't it? Don't you love diversity? Right? But I then mean, what happens, happens if, like, one, like... Because you can't... You can't... If you're living as a small community, America, like, I don't think would, like, be able to work like that. Like, if you're just as a small... it would be difficult to actualize. Act, well, like, I mean, in the, very, in the beginning, it might be kind of difficult. Just like when you told the slave owners back then, over 90% of farmers were, like, slave owners. They're like, hey, listen, when you abolish slavery, I know it's going to be crazy to figure out how you're going to go to the tent to the fields, but 100 years from now, 
only less than like 5% of you are still going to be us uh, 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 farmers because the market will have created all these huge machines and dust croppers in the place and to, to solve those problems without using human slavery, right? So I, I don't know how the future might look like when you abolish the tyranny that is government that violates your consent, but it'll be a lot better than what we have now 100 years from now in terms of uh, like, we can, it's difficult to predict the market, but we have billions of different ideas and how to solve problems non-violently. It's not just one, right? But it would be so much harder to get those ideas across the thousands that's what of different That's what entrepreneurs, right. So not all ideas are going to cater to you or her or me. That's why there's marketplace for different ideas, right? The t-shirt that you like, I might not enjoy, so I'll probably go shop somewhere else, right? Um, and that's pretty much, here's a community that, I, that matches what my interests and, and preferences are. I'm going to move in that community. Here's what, one. Do, what do you mean community? Like town, like city, or like... Just, uh, I guess a community, yeah, it could be a, a section off the town, it could be an apartment complex, it could be like a golf course community. In Florida, they have 55 and older communities, right? So based on those different preferences, that's kind of what dictates those kind of communities, right? Uh, and the rules, like, you know what, I like the rules here, and I agree with the concept, this is great, I'm gonna live here, right? Um, and they have respect for private property for neighboring communities, and that's how we coexist, that's how we, we thrive. Um, and you can have timeshares in other communities, right? I definitely want to have a timeshare in like, uh, I guess a LARPing one, for example, or, you know, or one that's like, uh, hey, this is like medieval community, like, you know, back in time. Great, I'll have a timeshare in that too, right? Um, but at least underlying all of this is this respect for private property and self-ownership, that all interactions should be consensual. Um, and that's how we, we regulate each other, I guess, to that, right? Um, but then what do you do to people who don't... Um if they don't want to uphold their contract? Yeah. All right, fine. So, like, that so, would be it. Yeah, 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 like, that's like this. Yeah, right, right, right. So, they, right, right. In the contract, says, well, if I don't like it, I'll, I'll leave. In the community that build that to begin with, say, hey, if you don't like this community, I will help you. We'll pay for the shipping, packaging, and help you find the one you want to go to. But we guarantee this is the place for you that you're going to love it, right? A lot of businesses do that, guarantees. Um, if you want to uphold other kind of contracts and say, well, I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything. Well, that's fine too. No one also has to uphold their contract with you, right? It's like, I don't know if I can trust you to keep your word, right? Uh, you said that you would pay restitution if when you hurt somebody and you're not doing it. It's like, well, then, you know, businesses will also uphold the word with you. So, so, so what like, happens when people are violent? Because people just are violent. I'm not, I'm not saying the government, yeah, 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 like yeah. people, humans, are just violent people. All right, so let's, let's go to the base of why they're violent, right? This is not just government violence we're against. It's also the violence we do to each other. Most importantly, it's also the violence that's done to children. Spanking children, for example, teaches them when they grow up in this world that violence is a viable solution. Uh, average child, like at four years old, is like hit over 900 times a year. 900 times, right? When the brain is still developing from the time in the womb until the age of four, you know, that's a very crucial time for, to not have a very stressful environment for the child, right? Uh, so yeah, you're gonna have a lot of negative consequences and mental health issues when that, grows, when that comes out, right? So like, if we wanna stop the cycle of violence, it's, it's, you do it through peaceful parenting so they don't learn the, the language of violence, right? Then that prevents people from growing up these very violent people that we're kind of No, but describing. like, people are just like, but that's why they are. Like, I'm, I'm just saying, if it I'm, does happen, what's gonna like, yeah, like what's, I what's gonna happen if they are like what's that there's gonna be an organization for that there's right. gonna be something to replace our police forces right yeah like there's that's still gonna I, be a policing like but who's right. to stop the pol like i just who's don't stop the i just being have a whole a big issue with humanity and i don't i think it's you don't trust them. i don't do you trust believe, her i don't believe in humanity do you trust her it depends on I mean, you can't show it me. Does, it you, depends. I mean, like, like you can't show me. I mean, with I, my life, I like. It depends. Like, I trust her not to stab me right now. Right, right. But, but like, you, you can't show me her humanity without showing me individual people, right? So the individual people in your interpersonal relationships, um, have have they? Do you hurt them? Do they hurt you? Uh, or do you have friends? Or do you just say, hey, I don't need friends because I can't trust anyone? No, no, I. Um, because they're part of humanity, right? They're part of this individual yeah. people, right? Do, do you trust them? Do you have? Do, do you say, you know what, I care for you, um, I value you as a human being? Yeah. Do you have people like that in your life? Yeah. So you can't generalize a blanket statement to put that in that group then, right? That you can't trust them because they're also part of humanity. Well, I mean, there are people I do value and care about that I don't trust whatsoever and I don't believe in. Is that, is that, isn't that, like, isn't that okay? Uh, you can keep people at a distance, sure, until they kind of prove, right? You have a vetting system to make sure they can trust, and a great way to do this is talk about ethics, right? What do you consider to be wrong and moral? Do you value consent? Yeah, me too. Great. Now we're on board. Well, now we're on the same page. A lot of people don't have those conversations, which is why the morality and ethics goes out the window. Government will, through, through like, thousands of hours of government schools teaching you bad ethics, yeah, it's going to be, we live in a community that's kind of weird to kind of have good, consistent ones, right? Um, and that's kind of what... Good. Schooling work. Uh, so yeah, I mean, 
people learning is something innate, right? That's not what you give to someone, right? In terms of education, so would you learn like in your own community? There'll be schools. There'll still be uh, so every community would have their own school. Um, I mean, at that point, you know, the internet is a great place to learn. I've learned pretty much everything you need to learn off the internet. Anything. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just. Yeah, I mean, you, you still have uh, standardization organizations like saying, "Hey, uh, this is what you should probably be doing." But, right. But like, who, like, why? Because they want the accreditation. Hey, this is an awesome restaurant. Um, I've been in business for 20 years. Like, Consumer Reports again, right? Yeah. We rate them five stars out of five stars. Hey, I trust them. They've been in business for like a year, like 40 years now. It's like. I've never heard that they've taken bribes. The moment they do, their integrity goes down, right? I'm guessing some like education, like corporations, gonna rise up and they're gonna be like, these are the things your students should learn, and people are gonna trust them because they'll like have like right. they'll have history, they'll have like uh, some sort of like evidence that backing them up that like they know their shit. You know, people will come out smart, and then eventually people are gonna start following this. Or it just it right. takes time, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think the biggest like, I just, thing I got against is, is like I, 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 I like the theory. I get it. It's just like it's. Oh yeah, it's gonna I love the theory. Like I'm totally to, anarchist. Like, initiate, but it's I gonna just... be difficult. It's not. Yeah, uh, it's, it's... Um, most people aren't ready for this. I think right now. Um, I think you can get most people. You can. I think you can convince easily a lot of people that the government <laughs> is immoral. It's just like whether or not people want to take a step to like. Yeah, that takes time to grow, down. right? Taking Planting seeds, money. right? That's it's gonna take a while. It'll take maybe 15, 20 years yeah, before we can do something people here. People will probably believe you. I don't know. I don't know how much people are, will be willing to like do something about it, especially when the government at this point in time is such a strong force. Right. Right. Um, so our organization is called Liberate RBA. So it's non-political. We don't advocate for politics, politicians, political parties, any of that stuff. We want to build our own community here in Richmond, outside of government. And eventually, over time, once we reach you know thousands and thousands, uh, yeah, we can uh, outgrow government, right? Peaceful transition, right? Uh, then we finally provide the services government has monopolized here. Uh, so we've been doing this for close to four years now, four years in May. We have over 100 now anarchists in this group, many VCU students, many parents, many children, uh, just a lot of different people, right? So yeah, in the, in the first like day we're coming out there, just like the two or three, yeah, like it's, it's going to be hard, right, to have these conversations. But you keep doing it out there, you know, have the courage to go forth and uh, master your virtues and commit to that. Um, you'll find that people will kind of come in uh, after a while, right? Having these conversations. We do like monthly meetings too, monthly gatherings. Uh -huh. uh, come learn about economics, history, the stuff that government will never teach you in government schools, yeah. right? Uh, and that's that's how it grows as a community, as a tribe, right? Yeah, it takes time to plant those seeds and to see the effects of, uh, of that, how that grows later. Uh, it's not going to be an immediate thing, but immediately what we can do now is just like just let go of the idea that violence will set us free. Yeah. Um, I don't use violence in my day-to-day -day life. I'm going to live consistently with my morals, my virtues, uh, and work on my internal freedom, right? Um, and work on that, internal liberty. I feel like I'm always surprised by the amount of people who actually find violence to be an acceptable answer. I'm just, I'm just like Trump rallies, yeah. man. I'm just like, <laughs> Trump rallies, Jesus Christ, those things are intense. Yeah, like one of my friends got like, I think like spit on, and then like this woman, like I like tried to hit her, uh -huh. and then she got because she was black, she got like tackled by the police. Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah. Yeah, uh, a lot of the political stuff does, draws in a lot of mob rallies and all that stuff. Um, politics is the language of violence. It's pretty much saying like how much to rob from you, how much from her, what I can restrict from you, and what I should restrict from you. Um, it's like I totally agree. I just don't believe it can work. But it works right now, right? You, we're ready. We're, we're, in a, in like in smaller a in a large <laughs> scale, I'm d like yeah, like um. Well, it yeah, grows like, up. We don't we, we don't end uh, liberation here, right? After we liberate Richmond, we we continue to spread out until the whole world uh, tyranny is abolished, right? It does, doesn't end, right? So yeah, it's long work ahead, but change doesn't start again in a White House in D.C. or places overseas we've never been to. It starts within ourselves, within our interpersonal relationships at home, and for me, then here in Richmond. And then the most we can do during that time is put the yeah. uh, the spotlight of freedom up there in the sky for people I to follow. It's not that bad. I thought it was way. I thought it was way later. All right, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's that's. I mean, again, going back to anarchy. This is anarchy, right? You can't show me people without showing me. Indi I mean, your, your friends, countries, government without showing me individual people. And right here, this is anarchy. Wherever there's consent, there's anarchy. See, the problem I have with that is like, if, if there's anarchy. What am I gonna write like angry songs about? <laughs> like, how am I gonna like write like angry? Like it's there's, there's gonna be no angst if it's like angry songs about corporations. Yeah, like you can you can do like 
God damn it, when are we going to get a Saturn? Uh, <laughs> oh, I want some of that space martini and drink it off the rings of... <laughs> you want to get a Mars. Like, right? They just give me plenty to bitch about. Yeah, we, we can focus on like future stuff like, <laughs> damn, well, I don't want to have nanotechnology yet and live forever. <laughs> Immortality. I don't know. But it's going to be awesome. It's going to be... Uh, I don't know, it's a feature that's difficult to see, but at least it's uh, one that's founded on uh, consent, respect for private property of self-ownership uh, in that direction versus the one that's founded otherwise through coercion and theft and hurting peaceful people. Um, in that direction, yeah, there always will be a lot of horrible things that will occur through there. Um, in this direction, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's a peaceful direction and one that aligns with my values and virtues and the one I want to go for with the community here in, in Richmond. I think some people won't agree with anarchy simply because they like government, they like being ruled, they like the idea that it's like there's, there's less thinking for them. Like that's true. Um, it's comfortable. That's what it is. I guess, but I don't find those people to be a majority wise. Um, so like. At that point, when anarchists I think a lot here, of people would be simply like they would read this and be like simply not. They wouldn't be willing to open their mind just because they're like they're comfortable yeah. where they are. Right. You know? But eventually, Again, we're always going to be out here, and eventually, I've had some of those people say, "You know what? I passed this ten times. All right, well, all right. Let me ask the question: How is government immoral? It's like, uh -huh. great. I've been waiting for you, uh -huh. right? Um, so, and then eventually, it's not just me; it's just a lot of other people, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, you no, know, talking about freedom is how it starts, right? And eventually, when it's all over the place, they can't ignore it, and then they're, they're going to have to have the conversations. Time. Um, I don't know what this guy's doing. Yeah, someone's in both rooms. Arcade is one of my people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you, man. You'll be shaved. You right? Shy. Well, that's the direction, at least. Uh, uh, he's been he's, yeah, he's been here right, been for a while. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Good to see you there. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the way. <weights. laughs> <Right. laughs> but that's, uh,. <laughs> so that's uh, so that's so that's anarchy, uh, freedom through anarchy, right? Through liberation, sure. through uh, consent. Uh, let's work on building a better future, right? One that uh, again, fun foundational principles that we agree on. Uh, let me give you some flyers. <laughs> you guys definitely check us out. Sure. Uh, we have monthly gatherings again, um, weekly discussions. Uh, you can find us on Facebook too. Join the group, and uh, yeah, get to know some of us. <laughs> There's always, yeah, potlucks, there's always free food. <laughs> I mean, I mean, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't what I was going to... Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm always wherever the free food are is as well, yeah. That's just, yeah, it's one of the beauties in life. I think, right. it's the, I think it's the eighth wonder of the world, do you think? All right, especially here in Richmond, especially during First Fridays. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get in there yeah, early yeah, enough. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I'll have some of that, I'll thank you, nice like art, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, right? <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure. I'm Cal. I'm Tristan. Tristan, pleasure. Camille. Camille, you've ever...